Today, we're uncovering 13 secret settings in Google Chrome that'll revolutionize how you surf. From faster downloads to smoother scrolling, we've got some game changers. Let's dive in. Number 1. Parallel Downloading. This is a feature that can potentially accelerate download speeds by allowing multiple connections to the server to retrieve different parts of a file simultaneously, then merging them. Enabling this resulted in significantly faster download speeds in my tests, increasing from around 7 to 20 megabytes per second. Number 2. Tab Audio Muting UI Control. This is another useful feature that allows users to conveniently mute audio from a tab by clicking on the speaker icon directly, saving a step. Despite being available as a flag for some time, it's surprising that this feature hasn't been integrated by default. Number 3. Camera and Mic Preview Another noteworthy feature is Camera and Mic Preview, which provides a preview of the webcam's video feed when a website requests access to your camera and microphone such as for a video call. This extra visibility can be reassuring when granting permissions. Number 4. One-time permission. This offers an additional choice when a website requests access to your microphone and camera. With this feature, you can grant access temporarily, rather than permanently, as was previously the case. Number 5. Omnibox URL Priority. The first one to consider is Omnibox Google Drive Document Suggestions. Despite its name, it does more than just display Google Drive files in search results, it also affects URL autocompletion behavior. Disabling it prioritizes URLs over search terms when typing in the Omnibox, which can be beneficial if you frequently visit specific websites. On the contrary, if enabled, as it is by default, it may prioritize search terms even for commonly visited websites, leading to inaccurate predictions and requiring manual input of URLs. Number 6. Smooth Scrolling While it may not be apparent, Google Chrome typically employs smooth scrolling by default. By default, Google Chrome implements a subtle form of smooth scrolling, which differs from the overly delayed smooth scrolling found in some browsers. Personally, I find the default setting tolerable, but disabling it could yield noticeable differences, potentially leading to a preference for a more responsive scrolling experience. While smooth scrolling may enhance aesthetics, the absence of it could facilitate faster navigation through content. Ultimately, it's worth experimenting with to determine your preference. Number 7. Overlay Scroll Bars The first flag alters the appearance and behavior of the scroll bar. With this enabled, the traditional track is replaced by a discrete scroll bar on the right side. When the cursor approaches it, the scroll bar widens for easier grabbing. Notably, the scroll bar remains hidden until activated by mouse movement or scrolling, hence the term overlay. Additionally, without a visible track, clicking above or below the scroll bar won't trigger scrolling, as it would with a standard scroll bar. This feature may appeal to users prone to accidentally scrolling by clicking elsewhere, as it necessitates precise clicking on the scroll bar to initiate scrolling. Two other related flags worth mentioning are Fluent Overlay Scroll Bars and Fluent Scroll Bar. These offer slightly different scroll bar designs. Notably, with Fluent Overlay Scroll Bars, the scroll bar doesn't initially appear upon mouse proximity, Instead, it requires mouse while scrolling to activate. Once engaged, it functions similarly to the previous flag, expanding upon closer mouse proximity. On the other hand, Fluent Scroll Bar behaves more akin to the default scroll bar, always visible with a slightly altered design. Number 8. Chrome Refresh 2023. Another flag to consider is Chrome Refresh 2023, which pertains to Chrome's redesign in 2023. If you favored the previous design over the new one, disabling this flag will revert Chrome's appearance back to its previous iteration. However, keep in mind that this option might not persist indefinitely. Number 9. Localhost SSL Warnings If you're an advanced user, the Allow Invalid Certificates for Resources Loaded from Localhost flag might interest you. This flag bypasses SSL certificate warnings for resources loaded from localhost, 
simplifying access to locally hosted web interfaces that utilize self-signed SSL certificates. This feature is particularly useful for individuals hosting programs with web interfaces on their computers but can be complex and requires understanding of SSL certificate management. If this applies to you, you likely already understand its technical implications. This flag essentially disregards security warnings when connecting to a localhost web server, allowing direct access without displaying the usual warning screen, although it still indicates not secure at the top left. Number 10. Force Color Profile It enables users to specify the color profile or color gamut that Chrome should utilize, instead of relying on the default Windows color gamut setting. This feature is significant for users with high color gamut monitors that support Adobe RGB or P3 gamuts. Without manually setting a color profile that matches the monitor, users may unknowingly experience less accurate colors. To illustrate this, you can conduct a simple test by visiting a website linked in the description, designed for testing wide color gamut images. Initially, ensure the force color profile is set to default and observe if you can discern a difference between wide gamut and regular sRGB images. If you possess a wide color gamut monitor and cannot see the wide gamut image properly, it indicates an incorrect color profile set in Windows. As a confirmation step, adjust the force color profile to a wider option like display P3, relaunch Chrome, and check for differences. If you can now see the wide gamut image and observe distinctions between the images, it confirms that your monitor is capable of displaying wider color gamuts. If your monitor isn't displaying wide gamut images accurately, it's likely due to an incorrect color profile set in Windows. Essentially, without the correct color profile, your monitor will consistently display colors at maximum saturation, which may look visually appealing but can result in inaccuracies when viewing images with embedded color profiles, such as those specifying sRGB. Consequently, you won't notice any discernible differences in the images. To obtain the proper color profile, you can visit the manufacturer's website and navigate to the product page for your monitor. There, you might find a download section containing drivers, user manuals, and possibly a color profile specifically designed for use with Windows. Number 11. Tab Scrolling. This which is particularly useful for individuals who frequently have numerous tabs open simultaneously. Depending on the selected setting, this feature prevents tabs from shrinking indefinitely as more are opened, instead allowing them to overflow and become scrollable horizontally. Various options are available to customize this behavior according to individual preferences. You have various options available with the tab scrolling feature, allowing you to set the minimum size of tabs to medium or large or even prevent them from shrinking at all, opting instead for horizontal scrolling. Number 12. Reading Mode Options. The next flag pertains to a relatively new Chrome feature known as Reading Mode, designed to streamline web page content particularly for news articles, by displaying only the text for easier reading. Two flags control how Chrome condenses articles in reading mode, offering different methods such as a machine learning AI approach or a rules-based algorithm. Number 13. Chrome Labs. Enabling the Chrome Labs flag potentially provides easier control over experimental features in Chrome that users might not be aware of. This feature allows users to toggle experimental features on and off, ensuring greater transparency and control over changes in Chrome's functionality. I hope you found these features intriguing and discovered new possibilities within Chrome. Feel free to share your favorite features in the comments, and if there are any I missed or new ones in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.